Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. I'm Rakh Mahbub Lawazir, and the topic is periformis muscle. Note, look, this is the periformis muscle which you see it over here. The and this is the greatest sciatic notch which comes out from the pelvis through the greatest sciatic notch. Periformis muscle is unique by the fact that its origin is intrapelvic while its insertion is extra pelvic into the the femur greater to cater of femur note look this is the sacrum it originate from the middle three pieces of sacrum ventral surface inside the pelvis from the ventral surface of middle three pieces of sacrum by three digitation and then these muscle passes laterally to pass or come out through the greater sciatic notch and look it over here please look it comes out through the greater sciatic notch and you can see it comes out through the greater sciatic notch and then passes laterally edge to edge with the gluteus medius and superior gemellus lower border with superior gemellus and upper border with gluteus maximus with the gluteus medius and note along the upper border it is related to superior gluteal artery and nerve and along its lower border it is related to inferior gluteal artery and nerve to the sciatic nerve posterior cutaneous nerve of the thigh and pudendal nerve and artery and nerve to obturator internus muscle then this passes laterally become tendinous and is being inserted over here and be inserted over here to the tip of the greater to cater of the femur bone over here attached like this and it is being supplied inside the pelvis by the ventral vibe of the sacral nerve 1 and 2 and now what is the action look all these muscles that is the periformis the gemelli superior and inferior and obturator internus all these muscles coming over here these muscles look they actually help to stabilize and adjust the hip joint during movement or during weight bearing this is the important action but acting as a prime over look when it contracts it laterally rotate when the knee is extended but look when the knee is flexed like I am sitting, then it abduct the thigh. So its prime action is to abduct the flex the and to laterally rotate the extended. But the main action of all this muscle is just to stabilize the hip joint during different movements and to adjust it during the, the pelvis upon the hip. And this is the more important action of these small muscles. Thank you very much.